everybody welcome back to the no gamer channel today is going to be the beginning of a whole new review system and um, i'm bringing a partner in with me yeah um we're going to talk about uh reviews on actual games that i've played and um we're going to show you clips and everything that goes with it i guess and uh, you can check it out it's just a common game review but uh they're going to be an honest game review and you know but anyways i'll bring my partner in and uh perhaps he can uh, help us uh figure out what's going on here yo what's up yeah we're gonna do some reviews here today some reviews on games. None of this crap ass crap that you see out there like this guy right here. Now, that's crap. That guy didn't even play the game. All he must have did is go look at other people playing the game and then he decides to make a review. No way. That's not the way things should be. So, we're going to do some real reviews so you can decide, is it a good game or not? Well, that's a great idea. I think we should uh, do some honest reviews out there of actual games that have been played. That's, that's a great idea because there's so many people out there that do these reviews and they didn't even play the game, especially when they're mentioning things that aren't even in the game. Yeah, that's crazy. Why the hell would anybody do that? Oh, maybe they need subscribers and views. That's it. They just want to get views. But bait click you into it all. Yeah, I hate bait clicks. What's a bait click? E -e -e. <laughs> yeah, you know what I want to say. Oh, hey, no gamer. That's another thing I wanted to ask you. Why is YouTube now being really anal about advertising? They'll let all the big channels get advertising, even ones that have inappropriate content. Also, ones that swear. But if the small channels swear, oh, oh, now it's you don't get ads because the advertiser decided not to. Yeah, I gotta admit, that really sucks. What the heck's going on there? Like, why the heck would it be something like that? Can you can you tell me at all? It's just, I mean, does any of that make sense? It doesn't make sense to me either. No, it doesn't make any sense. I think there are a bunch of hypocrites. And you know what happened to Rome when hypocrisy was going on? Oh... People just don't know their history. Wow. But anyways, let's get on with the review. Today, we're doing a review on a game called Prey. Really, really cool game. I had a chance to play it myself from beginning to end. So, let's take a look at what we got here. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, you get coming in. Whoa, and a glue gun. That's really cool. Oh, my God, look at this guy go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's me playing, obviously. Oh, my God. Oh, you even get the killer spiders. Oh, man. How are you going to do it all with a wrench? Well, really, we got special powers, and we get special weapons, as you can kind of see here. We just kind of uh, an injection there. Oh my god, you could do hacking. That is so cool. Yeah, hacking's kind of cool. It was kind of a little lame at first, <laughs> you know, but you get used to it after a while. Oh my god, you got some more spiders. Holy crap! 
Oh, he can't go in there. Wow, there looks like there's a lot of action in here, no, Gaber? Well, there is. There's a lot of action. As you can see, um, these aren't just the only monsters. Those are kind of the, the little tiny minions of the big monsters, you can say. Minions? Oh, my God. Are you fighting like a devil-type creature or something? Um... Sort of, uh, you kind of got to see, there's there's all sorts of monsters in here, and there's one that just really scares the crap out of you, and it's actually called a nightmare. A nightmare? Oh my god, I don't like nightmares! They scare me! Well, it can be a little bit scary in this game, and I'll tell you, if you put your headphones on, you're probably going to get knocked back in the chair. I actually got knocked back twice. Oh, look at that gun. That's really cool. You get a laser gun, too. Oh, and a shotgun. Oh, that's really cool. Yep, you get all sorts of weapons. There's a whole bunch here. You get to uh, get plans like there to manufacture stuff, so you get uh, materials, and you get to go make some guns, and and uh, use right here. This is the Wheel of Special Powers, guns, whatever. Oh, my God. There's some different monsters there. Yep, yep they're different when those ones. Those are, um, I don't even know what the heck you call them. But uh, if you, you got this scope thing you eventually get, you can uh, see what they are. Well, as you can see, the game is pretty cool. So I would suggest if you like adventure and some really intense moments, then definitely buy and play this game. I did. Yeah. It was a cool game, I must admit. Um, anyways, um, did you even uh, tell people uh, what your name was? I am Rico, Rico the Rat, and I will be No Gamer's No Review Partner. So, nice to meet you all. Hey! See you later, and don't forget, buy that game if you really like adventure. Well, I did, and I really like Adventure, and it was a really cool game, as you guys can see from uh, the little clips that are showing. Um, you definitely won't be disappointed. It's a long game, too. A um, lot of thinking involved, a lot of good fighting, a lot of upgrades, stuff like that. You know, your typical shoot them and blast them game, but um, it's got a little more adventure to it where you get to kind of do things that decide fates or not decide fates, and... Um, yeah, hey, check it out. You'll really like it. So, anyways, that's uh, our first review for um, this new kind of type of review thing we're doing. So, I hope uh, you don't mind that I got a new partner now. And uh, we're going to check it out since um, I'm getting sick of people out there doing these reviews on games that actually didn't even play the game. They actually went and looked at walkthroughs that either I did or somebody else did. <laughs> that's crazy, man. And uh, that's another thing I'm sick of, uh, Rico, is um, people stealing ideas. Uh, me and a few other small channels, it's been going on for about a year now, we uh, come out with some ideas of things or certain types of uh, walkthroughs, and uh, all of a sudden now we got these biggest channels copying our ideas and what we're doing. I mean, this is crazy. This is why uh, things were underground for a while. I mean, under, of course, the other guys. <laughs> but that channel's not there anymore. But anyways, um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you get the hint of what we're all talking about, and um, I hope YouTube changes their ways of doing things. It doesn't even make sense. Um, I see these big channels and everything with inappropriate content. They have ads. You're telling me the advertisers thought, oh, well, that's okay. No, it's only okay because, oh, what? They got millions of subscribers, millions of views. Oh, my God. Damn. Ah, uh, but anyways... I'm not the only one that thinks it's a little weird. But um, you guys all have a good one, and um, we'll see you in the next review.